Yeah. It's uh, O seven eight six eight. Yes, O seven eight. O seven eight six eight. Then it's seven seven. Uh huh. Six two. I'm sorry. It's seven seven. Then six two. Yeah, hello, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead once again. From the beginning, you mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, O seven eight uh -huh. si O seven, then it's, o, it's eight six eight. O seven eight. Yeah, O seven eight, then it's six eight. No need to shut up. Yeah. Seven seven. Uh huh. Seven seven, then it's seven two. Debit card detail, you mean? So, do you want me to get the card? No, 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 no. We are not allowed to do that. We are not allowed to get details of a debit card or credit card or any kind of banking details over the phone. You are not allowed to do that. Uh huh, okay. Okay, not allowed. I'm just asking you how you are going to do that. Okay? Yeah, okay. Now, uh, just stay with me, Mr. Hussein, okay? Yeah. See what happened. <laughs> Mobile or home phone? Let's see which one they ring. I'm waiting. Obviously they are planning how to rip me off and then they call back. I, I know, I know the drill. It's well noise, they're ringing. Hello? Yes, Mr. Ocean, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 I can hear you, yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Okay, I can also hear you better now. Yeah. Okay, now Mr. Ocean, now since you want to settle up your legal matter, Outside the courthouse, there are certain rules and procedure according to the courthouse that you need to abide with. I will have to explain you those rules and procedure of the courthouse. How are you going to settle up your legal matter outside the courthouse? And how are you going to make the payment to Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs? Because you'll have to do it according to the rules and procedure of the courthouse. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, <clears throat> rule number one, you will have to abide 
by the order of the court as per the Court Restitution Act 1938. Rule number two, you cannot disconnect this call because this is the recording conversation and the recording has to be sent in the courthouse as an evidence that the matter has been settled up as per the instruction of the courthouse. So you cannot disconnect this call. If you disconnect this call, the recording will get cut off and then it would be considered as a refusal from your end and without any further information to you, the legal case will get initiated against your name. So you cannot disconnect this call. Right, okay. I'm with you. Rule, rule number three. This matter is a subsidized matter where HMRC is a plaintiff and Mr. Mohammed Hussain is a defendant. And this matter has to be settled between the two. Nobody apart from you can represent yourself in the settlement process. And the HMRC can only be represented by me, Mr. James Parker Hansford. This means you cannot discuss this matter with any of the third parties. You cannot do this until the whole situation is over. And if you do that, then the settlement will get cancelled and it would be considered as a refusal from your end. So you cannot discuss this matter with any of the third party. Yeah, okay. Now, lastly, as far as where payment procedure is concerned, I need to tell you that you are not allowed to give me your debit card, your credit card, your checks, or any of the bank details over the phone for making the payment. You are not allowed to do that. Because... According to the courthouse, we are not authorized to get any kind of personal information from the taxpayer over the phone for making the payment. We are not authorized to do that. So, what you need to do is, you will have to make the payment through the system of electronic voucher. You will have to make the payment through the system of electronic voucher. What you need to do is, you will have to get the voucher of 1,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, okay. And, and you will get this voucher from the government store. You will get this voucher from the government store that could be near your house. That could be near your house. I will tell you that where is the government store. I will tell you that. Store. S-T-O-R-E. Shall I spell it to you? No, no, okay. I, I, know, I know what do you mean okay, by... Thanks. Stalled. Okay, thank you, thank you. So you will get this voucher from the government store that could be near your house. I will tell you that where is the government store. I will tell you that you will, you will have to go down there and get the voucher of one thousand pound. Now, once when you have got the voucher with you, you will see that this voucher has unique security features associated with them. Number one, it has a magnetic strip on it. Number two, it has a barcode on it. And number three, it has an alphanumeric code on it. You will have to read this alphanumeric code of your voucher to me over the phone so that I could enter those alphanumeric code of your voucher in your settlement letter so that I could prepare your settlement, your paperwork, and your payment receipt. In your paperwork, it will be mentioned there that all the legal charges has been withdrawn against your name. And there will be no more any legal activities against your name in future. It will also be mentioned in details that the matter has been settled up outside the courthouse and has been settled up as per the instruction of the courthouse. I will then assign one of the HMRC officers who will carry all your paperwork into copies to your house. He will hand you over all your paperwork. He will read the paperwork for you. He will explain you how that outstanding amount has arrived. He will tell you what were the mistake and how the mistake happened. He will explain you each and everything. Meantime, if you have any questions, 
you are most welcome to ask him any questions that you have. And that officer will explain you each and everything. Once when you have understood everything, you will then have to sign the copy of that paperwork and return that signed copy of paperwork to that officer along with the voucher that you have bought. The officer will then collect the voucher from you and he will activate your voucher in front of you using the magnetic strip and the barcode of your voucher with his swapping machine. The amount from the voucher will be sent to HMRC account. Till that point of time, as long as the officer do not reach your home with all your paperwork, your voucher will, will stay with you. That means your money will stay with you. No, no, okay. Can oh, okay, but listen, uh, yeah, can you tell me where about you calling from? Which city? London. Oh, London. Okay, okay. Okay. Can you write the address of the London? Write down. No, no, I don't need to write down. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not going there, so I'm okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now, Mr. Hussain, now, now tell me, Mr. Hussain, if you have understood and would like to go with this process, then only I will locate the government institute for you from where you can get the voucher. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think I know. I'll get the voucher or whatever. Okay, now, Mr. Hussain, yep. according to our record, your postcode is 324Q house, so that it would be easier for you go down and come back with the voucher. And by the way, Mr. Hussain, do you drive your car? Yes, I do. Okay. So just bear with me. Let me check which government store is nearest to your house so that it would be easier for you to drive down and come back with the voucher, okay? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine. So just stay on the line. The line will go blank for a moment, but don't disconnect the call. The line will go blank for some moment, okay? But yeah, yeah. disconnect the call, just bear with me, okay? Oh, okay then, cool. Thank you.
Yes. Mr. Hussain, I'm very, very sorry, Mr. Hussain, to tell you that, you know what, the place where you live in, there is no any government store near your house. Ah, uh -huh, okay. I could only find one government store and that is a long way away from us and I don't think that is possible for you to drive down so far. Uh, okay. So it is at Sheffield. Do you know the place Sheffield? Oh. Yeah, 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 at, uh, what did you say? Shepherd. It is in the Shepherd. Do you know the place Shepherd? Shepherd is far away. Yeah, that's right. That is why I tell you that it's long way away from your house. <coughs> so, well, Mr. Hussain, in that case, what can I do is, you know, there are some stores which could be very near your house, but the problem is that those stores are not the government okay. stores. Those are just the local superstore. And I am not allowed to send you to those stores which are not the government store. Well, in your case, what can I do is, I'll have to speak to our legal team. I'll have to tell them that government store is long way away from Mr. Hussein house. It is not possible for him to drive down so far. So if they can allow you, to go down to those local superstore which are not the government store, then only I can send you there. Otherwise, I cannot. So, Mr. Hussain, just bear with me. Let me speak to our legal team if I can get the permission to send you to those local superstore. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. So don't disconnect the call. Just bear with me. See on the line. Okay, just bear with me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm still here. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mr. Hussain, yes, Mr. Hussain, I have got the uh, approval from the legal team, okay? Now, Mr. Hussain, yeah. there, are, there are two options for payment done, okay? Now, you tell me the store that is near by, do you have any super store near your house? Near my house is, uh, uh, wait, it's, uh, Sainsbury is about half a mile down. Okay, because, you know, we have, you have been allowed to go down to the local superstore because the government store is long way away from your house. But since those are not the government store, there is one restriction that you need to abide with, okay? I will let you know the restriction that you need to abide with. Now, first, you tell me, so you have St. Chris near your house, that is half an hour. Uh, about 10-15 minutes in, in the car, yeah. Okay, but there is Tesco as well, Tesco Extra, super store. Uh, uh, which store you said Extra? That is one 
Arena Extra. You mean Rico Arena? That, that is at Phoenix Way. That is at Phoenix Way. Yeah, well, that's after after the Sainsbury, that is. You know that place, Phoenix Way, there is one Tesco Extra. Phoenix yeah, yeah, I know which one you mean. That's after the Sainsbury. Tesco? Yeah. Okay, it's a larger one, right? Yes. Can drive down there, okay? You can drive down there, okay? Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, Mr. Hussein. Yes. Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you the restriction that you need to abide with. Now, the restriction is that since this Tesco is not the government store, they have been strictly allowed not to sell this voucher for business purpose. They oh. only sell this voucher. For personal use only, and not for personal use. Like, if anybody tells them that they will use the voucher for paying mortgage bill or loan bill or any kind of tax bill, then they will refuse to give you. Ah, okay. They will tell you to go to the government in Sheffield, and you cannot go down to Sheffield because it's a long way away from your house, right? It's a long way, yeah. So, in that case, if they ask you, why you need this voucher, if in case they ask you, then just tell them that this is for your own personal use. Just tell them that this is for your own personal use so that you can get the voucher from them. Otherwise, otherwise they will not give it to you. Did you understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now. But generally, they will not ask you. They will not ask you why you need this voucher. They will not ask you. If they don't ask you, no need to tell them anything. Just take that voucher, come back home. And in case if they ask you, then tell them that this is for your own use. This is for your own personal use. That's all. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. Okay. Okay. Now write down the name of the voucher you need to ask for. The name of the the picture you need to ask for is Google Play. Google, shall I spell it to you? No, no, okay, I don't need to write down. I can remember that. It's Google Play. So have you seen this Google Play anywhere? I, I think I might have seen. Okay, I'm telling you, this Google Play voucher just looks like a debit card. It just looks like a debit card or credit card. Yeah. It's the size of a debit card or credit card. It will be written on it, the word Google Play. It will be written on it. So you can understand it is this Google Play card that you need to buy. Yeah. Okay? Now, now, this Google Play card comes in a different denomination. It could be 50 pounds or it could be 100 pounds. So the denomination doesn't matter. Total has to be 1,000 pounds. Now, remember one more thing I need to tell you. Yeah. That since these are not the government stores, they have some limited amount to sell the voucher. They will not give you more than 600 pounds or 700 pounds. They will not give you 600 or 700 pounds, more than that. So in that case, take 600 pounds, okay, and... The balance that will be left out, I will let you know what you need to do with the balance amount. The balance that 400 pounds will be left out, right? So take the Google Pay card to the value of 600 pounds only, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay, whichever way is best. Now, now, what you need to do is, you need to go, you need to drive down to Tesco, and in the Tesco, you need to go down to the gift card section. You need to go to the gift card section. Which section you will go? Gift card section, you said, yeah. You will see there, Google Play card is hanging out there. You will see Google yeah, okay. Play card is hanging out there. Collect the Google Play card from there only. The nomination doesn't matter. Total has to be 600 pounds. Like, in case it gives you, if there is 100 pound of each, then you will have to collect six Google Play card of 100 each. Then it total comes to 600, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, fine. Whichever I need to get, I'll get it. That's fine. Yeah, so the, to the denomination doesn't matter. Total has to be 600 pounds and then go to the checkout. Go to the checkout and tell them you need Google Play card to the value of 600 pounds. Pay them 600 pounds through your debit card. You can use your debit card there in the Tesco store. Yeah, yes. You can use your debit card. Pay them 600 pounds through your debit card. Take that 600 pounds of Google Play.
they can't come back and then talk to me. Now, one thing I need to tell you, Mr. Hussein, that you remember in the rule number two of the courthouse, it is stated that this is the recording conversation. Yes, yes. The recording has to be sent in the courthouse as an evidence that the matter has been settled up as per the structure of the courthouse. So you cannot disconnect this call. Yeah, fine. Now, what I need to tell you is once when you are leaving your house for the Tesco, you cannot carry your home. The phone call will get cut off, right? Right. So in that case, what would I do is, once when you are ready to leave your house, I will give you a call on your mobile so that the recording will go on, the recording will not get cut off. What you need to do once when you are ready to drive the car, let me know that yes, you are ready to drive the car. I will not speak to you as long as you are driving. You just leave the mobile phone open connected with me on the side seat. Just leave the mobile phone open connected with me on the side seat. I will not speak to you as long as you are driving. But once when you reach the parking lot of the Tesco, before getting out of the car, before you get out of the car, pick up the mobile and speak to me first so that I can understand that you have reached Tesco. Okay? Yeah, yeah fine. Mr. Hussain, now tell me, Mr. Hussain, are you ready to leave your house or you will take some time to organize yourself? No, no, I can leave now if you want me to. Oh, take everything with you. Take your take your debit card from which you are talk, from which you are going to make the payment. Take your debit card. Take your everything. And once when you're ready to drive the car, let me know. Then I will give you a call on your mobile. Phone. Just take the mobile in your hand now. Mobile is here, yeah. Okay, I'm giving you a call on your mobile phone and yeah. don't disconnect this home phone till I get you connected on the mobile phone. Okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Just bear with me. Is your mobile phone in your hand now? Yeah, it's in, in my hand. Okay, I'm giving you a call on your mobile phone. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you fine. Okay, okay. Home phone, hang up, okay. Okay, ho yes, hang up your home phone. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, take everything with you. Now, once when you're ready, now move down towards your car. Once when you're ready to drive the car, let me know that yes, you are ready to drive the car. I will give you a call. I will not speak. As long as you're driving. Once when you're ready to drive the car, let me know, okay? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, out. Yeah, yeah, I have, yeah. Okay, okay, take Yeah, I'm ready now. Uh, I'm inside the car now. Okay, so now I will not speak to you as you're driving. Just leave the mobile phone open when you keep with me on the line. Yeah, but yeah. Once when you reach the parking lot of the desk, so before getting out of the car, don't get out of the car. Before you get out of the car, pick up the mobile and speak to me so that I can understand your desk, okay? So now just keep the mobile phone open when you keep with me on the line. I will not speak to you now, okay? Okay, so you want, you want me, okay, I'll be start driving now. Okay, just leave the mobile phone open and it keeps me on the side seat. Right. Okay. I'm on the line. I'm on the line. I'm on the line. I'm on the line.
Yeah, hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Hussain. Yeah, I. Yes. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm now in the, already in the car park, park the car. Okay, just bear with me. Just listen to me very carefully. Just listen to me. You are inside the car? Yes. Okay, now listen to me very carefully. Now, inside the store, there will be a lot of bad droids. So, the recording will get tampered. I suggest you to leave the mobile phone inside the car room. Don't carry your mobile phone inside the because there will be a lot of background noise and the recording will get tampered. So okay. Leave the mobile phone open, connect it with me inside the power room. Okay? Now, number two. What you need to do is, you know, you need to go down to the gift card section. Once when you go down to gift card section, you will see there Google Play card is hanging out there. Collect the Google Play card to the value of 600 pounds and then go to the checkout. Tell them, you need Google Play card to the value of 600 pounds. Pay them 600 pounds to your debit card. Take that Google Play card, come back inside the car and then speak to me. Now remember the restriction you need to do. But if in case if they ask you why you need this Google Play card, is this for any kind of business purpose or any kind of tax bill, you can know this is for your own personal use. That's all. But generally, they would not ask. Okay? Yeah, fine. So, uh, do I leave that uh, phone here like that? Okay. I'm sorry? Do you want me to leave the phone here um, just like that or yes. you are... Just leave the mobile, yes, just, yes, leave the mobile phone inside the car, okay? Don't carry the mobile inside the store. Leave yeah. the mobile phone inside the car, open it with me. Once when you have the Google Play card, come back inside the car and then talk to me. I'm on the line, okay? I'm on the line. Yeah, okay, I'll just go and back, okay? Okay, thank you. You may go now. Thank you. Oh, okay then.